Okay, we're back. Time to give my patient his teeth. All right. Here we go. Open, please. Retract the cheek, the lip. Okay. These are the gingival formers. There's one. There comes number two. Always go in with cavity cleanser. And then immediately rinse that. You see the epithelial tissue from all the healing. All the way to the base, I suction that all out, well past the threads. Okay. Now we'll seat the bridge. And just push it in place with your thumb in the panic region. Take the driver. I'm just going to tip my patient back a little bit. Stay out, please. Find the access hole. Make it drop in and just turn gently. That's it. I'm back to this one. Same thing, hold. And just gently, very passive here. And these screws are going in and are almost identical to each other. All right. And you're going to see some tissue blanching. Where the panic is. Does that bother you at all? Okay. Check the floss again. Hand tightening now. Floss again. Perfect. All right. That's a view from the lingual. That's a view from the buckle. And down the corridor. Now we're going to use the driver. All right. And we're self-limiting driver, so that's next. Make sure it's seated all the way. You'll hear a click in like that. 
and just tighten. That's it. Hear a clicking. It doesn't tighten any more than that. Go to the distal. Make sure it drops in. Dropping in is important because we don't want to strip the top of the screw head. Again, just tie and tighten. Hear a clicking. That's it. We're done. Go back and recheck. Drop in. It clicks. Go to the distal. Yeah, this is where most implant companies require you that you have to go to either 30 or 35. Okay. Teflon's next. And condense that. A real long and slender condenser. I'm going to pull part of this back out and condense it more so we don't trap any air. Okay, condenser ready. We'll continue to use the um, Peridon probe. That's a long way down there. This is where an endo plugger would, would probably help and get way down there. So we'll just go with the periodontal probe. And just push it down in place. That's so all you want to do is prevent anything from covering the screw head. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one of my periodontal probes after I put this one in the distal. Let's do that, and I'll use it as a condenser. Sacrifice one instrument for the team. There we go. Take me a second to cut that off. I'm going to use a 330 burr. I got a nice flat surface there. Condense, condense, condense. Okay, next one. Once you get it started, it gets very condensable. That should do it. This one's perfect. One more for the back. Okay. All right, etch next. We're going to use Paracore. Actually, we're already etched, so let's go to the bonding agent. Formalities here. Where this is pure zirconia, but uh, you know, we did add a little bit to the occlusal, so we may have to just. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm interrupt. Yellow etch, please. And then silane. Alrighty. waiting for the yellow etch, um, the the idea uh, is this, keep it simple, really nothing uh, 
Uh, I think we overthink cases sometimes, and that's where you get into trouble. And the idea, just follow your normal fundamentals. Make sure you're fundamentally sound. Uh, you play the game uh, right, and, and every step is, uh, has a certain amount of attention to detail. So I know my lab added some porcelain to the occlusal, so I want to etch that. I know this is uh, full zirconia contour, so the uh, type of zirconia, uh, many times uh, there's discussions back and forth. Do we etch it? Do we not etch it? I'm going to put a little slivage. Actually, I got one in there. Just make sure it's on. Okay, so this is, uh, we're just going to etch the surface for like not even 20 seconds here and then rinse it off. So, all set in two. Uh, about another 10 seconds here. I'll rinse it off. All that blanching is gone already, which is what you want to see. If your tissue is still blanching, then you might have to, you know, relieve things a little bit better. So, what we did a direct pickup of uh, tissue. So you see a little bit of etching there. So, so we'll take our light and lower it. Alright, this one's a little bit longer, but we just wanted to show you the, the following steps here. So that's the silane that goes in. We're done. Okay, and then I'll dry that again. Now we're gonna so we got a nice edge surface already. Here comes the next steps. This is called paracore, and that's a good solid material that uh, is easy to mix, uh, easy to place, easy to polish, maintains a nice polish. It's a dual cure. This is the steps that you have to go through to place it before you put it in there. You have certain liquids you have to use. Alright. That stays on for about 30 seconds and then we just dry it. Very easy to do. Use an air air syringe. No water to it. Next steps. All right, so now this is all unedited. We're just going to go ahead and fill those areas up now with our paracore material. Inject slowly. And then leave just a little excess. We'll do a quick wipe. That's that nice. And we'll like cure that. Now it's a dual cure. We're going to wait three minutes uh, and then adjust occlusion. Uh, this video is not about occlusion, so we're going to do that to finish the case. But it is about keeping it simple. And using this ankylose system is by far, um, uh, it's a straightforward system. It, I, I'm going to meet with the global manager tonight. Uh, we'll talk about their positives of their system. He's flying in from Europe, uh, I believe Germany. And so we'll have a nice sit-down dinner tonight, talk about the system. It's a really good system to use. Um, and uh, it's a very nice company uh, from Dent Supply. You go to Hanau, Germany, you can actually look them up. Great company. Uh, amazing uh, facility that they have. And uh, they do treat their, uh, their clients very well. So... That's it from here. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'll just bring the lights up now on this case and uh, let you know that i got to get my patient out soon. So take care. See you on the next case. Dr. Jerry Cuomo from Boca Raton, Florida. Take care.